Hi guys. So today I want to show you how to create a quick stock market calculator. It seems like whenever somebody asks me um, how well my portfolio is performing or how well the stock is working for me, um, I have to pull out the calculator. So I thought it would just be pretty smart to just build a quick dashboard to do so. Okay, what I'm going to do is start off with the front end. Got this wrong. Now, as you can see, I'm going to be using Bootstrap. And my first objective is to make a quick um, form panel. So let me see if I can have to center this. See right now, I just want to see if my div is centered. Okay, cool. Um, I can move forward. And let's call this drop this. And I'm going to use. An order list. Um, we want to be able to add in our ticker symbol and Be able to add a number of shares. Spell this wrong. And how much do we pay for these shares? Okay, I'm not going to do too much styling, but I will have to add some. So we have so far. Yeah, it's a background. Where's the border? Curve this a bit. So, um, okay, what I want to do is push this down and kind of clean up that order list. So let's say um, let me just say seventy five. Let's address this order list. And list style. I'm telling you, you have to use IDE nowadays. There's so much stuff. Just padding. Alright, so that should clean a lot of that up. So, fresh. I want to add some spacing in between there. Uh, let's say, I don't know, padding 10. Wait a minute. Alright, so we didn't push this down at all, did we? Oh. Top. Alright, cool. Let's add some labels. Let me 
share with you. Shares. What is this? It's our purchase price. It's the price in which we purchase a share. Ah, oh, that's looking looking all right. It's looking decent. Um, again, it's just a, a a quick dashboard. We're not gonna get too fancy. This we need a button. We need a button. That'll work. Do we need any more padding around this? There's really no need. Everything looks looks fine already, but just yeah, just me. All right, cool. Um, let's add some. Query um, script. I like to do this just to make sure my jQuery is working. Hope that doesn't sound corny. And Fresh, all right, cool. Working now, I'm gonna action to this button, and what I'm gonna do is say document uh, on that to this function. Um, I always screw this up, so I'm probably gonna mess this up. Uh, Remember, you do click first, or eh, we'll find out. So click, then say button. Again, let's make sure this works first before we go get ahead of ourselves. I had to swap this around. Maybe let's see. Refresh. Oh, cool. All right. So then we need to pull the values out of here. And place it to a post. So let's just say, yeah. um, let's say name equals ticker. That ain't right. Check it real quick. Oh, I am flying. Boom. All right. I'm going to do is copy this down. Two, three shares. No other one price. I'm trying to hurry up. Price. My ticker share price. All right, so we're going to use a post. Oh, how do you do this? PHP and send it with JSON, which is T for ticker. Okay. 
is for shares and you know it P for price. Alright, so we need a I, yeah that might just be our we'll come back to it. Let's 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 bang out some of this PHP. So we're gonna create a scripts page. Is it script or scripts? I'm about to change the scripts. God, it's gonna bother me. All right, so <laughs> we'll change this back. Rename this to script. All right, and just to make sure this is working. So there I go. Hello world. So that's basically indicates that we our post is working. All right. So what we want to do is again we're not gonna get too fancy, but let's just stick in a little bit of logic here. We could say, oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Something method equals post. Oh, I gotta look it up. This is bothering me. It's, it's, I think it's server. Is it server? I think it's request. Okay. That's gonna be crazy. Do See, if you're using um, a framework, all this is easy, but we're not doing that. Um, string to lower. And you know, I'm not really sure about this, so what we're going to do is I'm gonna take this to Google. PSP. for request method boom that's what we needed request method so I am right post we could say if it is not equal to post yeah just exit Okay, now we're going to put a code under here. Because. No, 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 no. Let's just say. Equal suppose. And we'll put our. We'll put our code here. Alright, so what we basically want to do is. Grab. Uh, T, S, and P. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's say T is ticket, right? And what we want to do is filter the bars. You know what? I'm looking. For, let me try some filter. This one. Uh, messed up. I think that will be three. The filter input. Is that it? That three? I'm gonna have kind of scattered brain today. It's input. 
post. And we're looking for the T. And we're going to sanitize this. So that's so that string. Cool. I think that's right. So I'm just going to copy this down. Shares price um, let's check if this works all right let's stick this into an array Can we see this? Maybe if I change it to. Oh, you can see. Still can't see the key. Is working. Deco. Boy, oh boy, Deco. All right, cool. Um, Okay, guys, so even after the final edit, I'm above 51 minutes, so I'm going to cut this into three files and upload them separately. Okay, guys, thanks. Bye.